Have you ever seen this before and thought to yourself, this is some really smart people calculus stuff and I'll never be able to understand this? Well, it's actually really simple to understand and I'm going to explain it to you right now. Let's go. Now, this right here is called a limit. And even though it is used in calculus mostly, it's not a very hard topic to understand. And I'm going to explain it with this graph, the graph of y equals to 1 over x. Now, if you look at this graph, it seems to be touching the y-axis, but it actually never does. Look, as it gets closer to zero, it goes all the way up. And as it gets closer from, to zero, but from the negative side, it goes all the way down. But it will never actually touch zero. Why? Well, this is a function. It takes the input and gives you an output. So if you input zero for x, then you'll get an undefined value for y because one over zero is undefined. So we know that this graph never touches the y-axis. But is there a way we could get really, really, really close to that? Well, we can with limits. What limits do is it says as x approaches a certain value, remember it never ever reaches that value, but it gets really close to that value. So as it gets really close to that value, it equals to this number. So let's apply it here. As x gets really, really close to zero from the positive side, you'll see that it goes up really, really fast, which is what I said earlier. So we could say for this side, the limit as x approaches zero from the positive side, and you'd indicate that by putting a little plus on top of the zero equals and now what would it equal well it would approach infinity and that's what we would write for the limit since it never actually really touches zero so we can't say it's exactly infinity we have to include the limit now what this is saying is as x gets really really close to zero from the positive side it just will approach infinity we could do the same for the negative side so as x approaches zero from the negative side you'll see that it goes way, way, way down. So we can write that the limit as x approaches zero from the negative side equals to negative infinity since it keeps on going down. But remember, it never actually equals negative infinity. It just approaches it. And that's why we have the limit. God bless.